What is up guys, Ice361 here, back with another video, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys the easiest way to get gold on all of your SMGs to make this atomic grind way easier in Call of Duty Vanguard. Now before we get into the video, if you are not already, make sure to subscribe. We are trying to hit 5,000 subscribers before the end of 2021. We're getting close to the end of the year and we are not close enough to 5,000 subscribers. So make sure you subscribe, share this video with your friends so they can get atomic camo pretty easily or diamond SMGs if that's all they want. Smash the like button on this video uh, and yeah guys, let's uh, jump straight into this video. All right, guys, so as you can see, I have gold on my MP40. It's the only SMG that I have gold on, but I feel like I can still make this video because I got gold on this gun within like one day of it being out. I got gold on the MP40 yesterday. At the time that I'm recording this, uh, it's November 7th, so I got the MP40 gold on November 6th. And the game came out on November 5th. So it took me one day to get gold on the MP40. Uh, as as you can see, let me check my uh, record. I've only played for 11 hours. <laughs> so in that 11 hours, I got gold on my MP40. So uh, I'm an experienced camo grinder. I have Damascus in Modern Warfare and I have... DM Ultra in Black Ops Cold War, so I am an experienced, an experienced modern warfare camo grinder. So you are hearing these tips and tricks from the best. So the first challenge is always the easiest. It's just to get 400 eliminations. This challenge you will get done. As you're doing all the other ones so you don't really need to worry about this one you don't need to like focus on this because you will get this challenge done while doing all the others the next challenge is headshots headshots in this game at least are not that difficult to get I found headshots in Vanguard easier to get than headshots in uh, modern warfare and Cold War just aim to the head. I mean, it's as simple as that. <laughs> I don't know what else to say for headshots. Next is multi kills. <clears throat> if you don't know what multi kills are, it's double kills, triple kills, fury kills, anything like that. Obviously, double kills are the easiest for this. And um, they're not that hard to get. I found double kills easiest to get in game modes like domination because uh everyone's just on one point even hard point would be good because everyone's just in one area you could kind of get a lot of kills um the next challenge this one is a little tricky if you're not that much of a skilled player you have to get 30 bloodthirsties if you don't know what a bloodthirsty is it's five kills without dying now, it's not that hard to do, but while I was doing this, I was a really low level, so I did not have the scavenger perk unlocked, I did not have all that stuff unlocked that gives you, like, extra ammo, I didn't have uh, uh, a lot of mags for my MP40, because it wasn't max level yet, so you might run out of bullets doing this. So I would use the ammo box uh, field upgrade while doing this challenge because uh, I would run out of bullets pretty quickly. The next challenge is long shots. Long shots um, pretty much just go all the way back spawn in a map and just kill everyone you see from a far range on SMGs long shots are not that hard to get so I'm not gonna go like in depth on how to get good long shots in this video 
maybe in my ARs video or sniper video or uh, anything other than SMGs, I will go in depth on how to get the best long shots because on SMGs, long shots are very easy to get. Sometimes you'll get long shots without even realizing that you're long enough to get them. Uh, I did long shots pretty quickly. <clears throat> the next challenge is 100 point blank kills. I would, every time I would have a small map, I would just run into people and hip fire. This is the best way to do this one. Just run into people and hip fire. The next challenge is hip fire kills. So, this challenge you could get done while doing your point blank if you want to, but you have to wait like another five levels so you could actually unlock both challenges at the same time. But these two are very easy to do at the same time uh, you can multitask now this is one thing that I really don't like about camel grinding in this game and it, it's gonna piss me off the more I camel grind I know it right now mp40 is the only gun I have gold so <laughs> I, I only uh, did these last three challenges on this gun and I know the more I do it it's gonna piss me off okay every gun every gun that has all ten categories the last three categories over here they always have to be done with specific attachments so this next challenge here is 100 long shots with those three attachments there that you see in the challenge but this is what i don't understand especially this challenge it's asking you to use the 8 mm um 32 round mag okay you unlock this camo challenge when your gun is level 60 but you unlock that mag when your gun is level 70 so once you unlock this challenge you cannot do it until your gun is a max level because level 70 is the max level so there will be a time period um, when you're camo grinding if you're doing all of these challenges right away and you're not trying to level up your gun and then do the challenges if you're trying to do the challenges as you're leveling up your gun, once you make it here to the survivalist category, uh, you cannot do those challenges at all until you make it to the very end. <clears throat> so the survivalist, you have to wait five more levels on your gun so you could unlock the mid games. So the mid game challenges is get 100 kills without taking damage and you have to use those three attachments that you see over there now a lot of people might find this challenge hard when i was doing that challenge just reading the challenge it sounded hard but it's actually very very easy uh, i did not realize how quickly i got 10 out of 10 in that category uh, that challenge is not difficult at all and then the next and final category is this one right here and you have to get 100 headshots with those three attachments so I really don't like the last three challenges mainly because one of them once you unlock it you can't even do it until the very end and then the other one the last one you're redoing a challenge you already did <clears throat> Jesus Christ my voice <laughs> you're redoing a challenge that you already did just with specific attachments so it slows you down a lot it becomes very hard to multitask this is how I did my mp40 and this is how I'm gonna do every other SMG and this is how I recommend you guys to do them as you're leveling up your SMG do the challenges obviously so then you don't max level it and then do everything 
because if you max level it and then do everything it's gonna take so much more time the only time i would ever recommend max leveling a gun before doing any of the camels if is if ever there's a double weapon xp weekend uh that's what i did in modern warfare and in cold war whenever there was a double weapon xp weekend i would stop camel grinding completely and just focus on max leveling my guns then when the double weapon xp left I would go back to camel grinding and it would be way easier because I would be able to multitask every single challenge. Now that gets pretty hard when there is no double weapon XP. So when there is no double weapon XP just like right now, uh, the best way to do it is to do your challenges as you're leveling up your gun. But it does slow you down once you get to these last three challenges, especially the survivalists. So I would recommend... As soon as you unlock the long shots, do not do them. Do the normal 100 long shots at the same time as the three attachments long shots. Because then, instead of having to do a total of 200 long shots for your gun, you only gotta do 100 if you do them at the same time. That's what I did. I saved it for the end. I mean, I had to because you get the mag at the end. Uh, and then, this one... This one's pretty easy. It sounds like a hard challenge, but it's easy. This is the only one of the three that needs specific attachments that does not take a lot of time. And then the 100 headshots, you sadly, you have to redo the 100 headshots if you've done it in the beginning. But uh, I still did my 100 headshots in the beginning. So I did a total of 200 headshots, but I would not focus on headshots. If I were you, I would not focus on these 100 headshots until you reach level 70, so then you're doing them at the same time. It doesn't really matter, because um, while you're playing, you're going to end up getting headshots, so you might even finish this challenge before you're level 70. Who knows, but the best way to get these camels is to multitask and save the long shots for the end. Save every long shot for the end. That is the best way to do it on smgs <clears throat> now i only have gold on my on my mp40 um obviously i'm gonna get diamond and atomic i'm grinding for atomic i'm live streaming the whole way through um if you guys want to watch that tune in so now i'm going to tell you guys the best smgs to do so we have six smgs inside of call of duty vanguard we have the mp40 the sten the M19, the Owen, the Type 100, and the PPSH. Now, I have not used the Owen Type 100. Um, yeah, I have not used those two. I used PPSH in a custom game, and I used this gun in the beta, the M19 in the beta. Right now, I'm doing the Sten because the MP40 was so easy to get gold on i recommend doing the mp40 especially because it is the first smg you unlock if you're trying to do smgs obviously you're gonna do the first one you get and the mp40 is probably the best smg in the game uh it is so good uh i got this gun gold in 11 hours actually less than that because after i did my mp40 i started doing combat knife so i ended up doing it earlier than 11 hours um, so right now I'm doing the Sten. The Sten is okay. Once you max level it, it gets really good. But I'm only level 24 on it. So it is a bit challenging. My PS4 is super loud, guys. I'm sorry. Uh, this gun right here, the M19, it's really, really good. I see a lot of people using it. This is going to be easy to get gold. I feel like all SMGs would be easy. The Owen, my friend uses it. He tells me it's OP. It's crazy good, this gun. So... It might be really really good to get gold type 100 I have not tried this gun yet so I can't tell you anything for it and the PPSH it's good but the recoil on this gun is not so great so um, headshots and long shots might be pretty difficult so yeah guys that's pretty much it on uh, SMG's diamond <laughs> I'm going to do this for every single 
a category in the game. It's just I'm not going to make a video for that category unless I get gold for at least one gun in that category. So right now I only have gold on my MP40. Uh, I'm one challenge away from getting it on combat knife. So if I finish my combat knife instead of the Sten, um, I'll make a video on melees next. But I actually do want to wait for melees for when shipment comes out because that's coming out in season one. So I'm going to save my melees for then because the, the stun grenade kills are pretty hard. Uh, but yeah, guys, this is my guide on SMG's diamond. I hope this atomic grind goes well for all of you. I hope it goes well for myself. <laughs> Damascus took me a year and a half to get. Uh, Diamaltra took me seven months to get. Uh, I really want to get atomic in a less period of time than DM Ultra did for me. And if you're going for Dark Aether, uh, I'm sorry, but I'm not making guides for that. Uh, <laughs> I do not like Dark Aether in this game. It's not the best. Uh, I, I liked Dark Aether in Cold War, and I still didn't even get it because Zombies Camels takes forever to do. So uh, I'm not doing it in this game either. So if you're a Zombies fan, I'm sorry, but I'm not making any Plague Diamond guides. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not even going to get any Plague Diamonds or Gold Vipers. But I'm getting Atomic. <laughs> so yeah, guys, you've made it to the end of the video. If you've made it this far, make sure to subscribe. We are trying to hit 5,000 subscribers before the end of 2021. If you could do that, guys, that would be absolutely amazing smash the like button on this video comment down below in your guys's favorite gun inside of vanguard because i'm curious uh i've only used mp40 combat knife and sten so far so i don't know <laughs> i don't even know what guns are op or not so yeah guys <laughs> share this video with your friends so they can get diamond smgs or atomic and yeah, guys, I will see you all in another video. Peace.